Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your science teacher, Ms. Fahin, and I welcome you all to your science class. My dear students, as you know that we are on chapter number 5 and the name of our chapter is Physical and Chemical Changes of Matter. Today we are going to difference, uh, study about the difference between physical and chemical changes. So my dear students, today we will chemical and physical changes. We will talk about the differences and we will study reactions thoroughly. We have studied about physical changes and we will compare both of them to compare them. Okay, my dear students, let's quickly recap what we did in the previous lecture. So, quickly tell me what are chemical changes. A permanent change uh, or uh, in which new products are formed is called a chemical change. So, my dear students, now it's time for an activity. So, look at the pictures very carefully, pip, uh, picture A and picture B. So, in both the pictures, burning is happening. Paper is burning, candle is burning. So, in both uh, pictures, ke andar burning is happening. Now, you have to tell me that you have to observe the given processes that are burning in A. Paper is burning and in B, candle is burning. So, in both the burning, ki se, what are the differences in both the processes? So, now you have to tell me that 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 you this is a chemical change because in this paper jo hai, it is turning into ash and smoke. Whereas in this chemical and physical changes are both happening. Wick has chemical change ho hai, whereas candle has physical change in it. Why? Because in this case there is no new product form. The candle burn ho rahi hai. Candle burn ho ki wajay se sirf jo wax hai, wo melt ho rahi hai. Aur thode der ke baad wo melt ho ke baad jab wo heat uske upar se hatayenge to it will again turn into solid. So, this way, when there are new products form, hai, that is chemical change. Whereas, when there is no product change, nahi hota, sirf state hum change karte hai, that is a physical change. So, do these changes are reversible? So, the burning of candle, the melting of candle is reversible. Uh, whereas, the burning of paper and the burning of wick is irreversible. So, in today's lecture, students will be able to differentiate between physical and chemical changes with examples. So, my dear students, now I have told you both of them in an activity, ke thru, pictorial activity, ke thru, mene aapko differences in physical and chemical activity. Mein. Now, let's quickly move forward towards the pre-reading. So, what is different in physical and a chemical change? In physical uh, uh, change, only the state of the matter changes, whereas in a chemical change, new products are formed. If we crush ice cube, does it a chemical change or not? So, if you crush ice, crush kare, so, is it a chemical change or a physical change? It is a physical change. Because you are physically jo hai wo change kar rahe, aapko neya product usse form nahi kar rahe. So, quickly open page number 72 in your science 5 books. I hope everybody has opened the page. Now, let's start the reading. Difference between physical and chemical changes. Physical and chemical changes both take place in matter. To study their effects and utilization, the difference between both type of changes must be studied. So, my dear students, physical or chemical change जो हैं वो matter के अंदर दोनों होते हैं और इनके effects को पढ़ने के लिए और ये कैसे utilize होते हैं इसके लिए हमें दोनों को study करना पड़ेगा. So, difference between physical and chemical changes, physical change and the, on the other side chemical change. Number one, physical changes result in the change of physical properties, for example, shape, shape and size. यानी के physical change जो है वो उसकी physical appearance को सिर्फ change करता है, वो उसकी state को change नहीं करता, uh, that means कोई नया product form नहीं होता, whereas chemical changes may also result in a change in chemical composition, यानी के किस तरीके से matter compose, compose हुआ है, वो उसकी composition को change करता है, no new product is formed, कोई नया product नहीं बनता, new products are formed, some of the physical changes are reversible. Kuch physical changes jo hai, ye reversible hote hai. Chemical changes are irreversible. Chemical changes ko dubara se change nahi kiya ja sakta. Some of the physical and chemical changes cause serious threats to our atmosphere such as pollution which is result of serious changes such as changes should be, such changes should be avoided. So my dear students, hum apne environment ke saath bhi kuch physical or chemical changes karte hai. जो कि हमारे एटमॉस्फेयर के लिए एक्सट्रीमली डेंजरस हैं तो हमें इस तरह के चेंजेस जो हैं उनको अवॉइड करना चाहिए सो माय डियर टीचर्स अब आपके लिए एक नोट है मेक द कांसेप्ट ऑफ केमिकल चेंजेस 
A parent by mixing vinegar and baking soda in front of the class tells students that the release of gas in the form of bubbles is a sign of chemical change. Explain other signs of chemical changes by giving example and demonstrating from daily life. So my dear students, we have already this practical ko previous lecture mein, uh, perform kar chuke hai. If you have missed that lecture, so again watch it because in that we have added vinegar and uh, baking soda ko add kiya tha to uski wajah se bubbling hui thi aur wo bubbling jo thi that was the release of the gas iska matlab hai ek naya product form ho raha hai which was a chemical reaction so is tarike se aap bachcho ko chemical reaction jo hai wo demonstrate kar sakte hain but uh, students aapne isko akele perform nahi karna do it under teacher's supervision or your parents supervision vision so melting of ice is a physical reaction because only the shape and sizes are changed so addition of um, um, mixing of vinegar and baking soda is a chemical reaction because here a new product a gas will be released so my dear students melting of ice cream is uh, there is, will be no new product only the melting the state will be changed so that means this is a physical change whereas cooking of an egg aap jab anda fry karte hain to here a new product a cooked form of egg will be formed so this means it is a chemical change melting of candle so this is re, uh, the candle wax its melting is reversible whereas the burning of candle wick this is chemical change and it is irreversible and the burning of paper is irreversible chemical change now is the time for evaluation so what are difference between physical and chemical change of matter so my dear students quickly pause the video and state some uh, differences between physical and chemical changes very good okay my dear students now let's quickly move forward towards the practice for which you can download this worksheet from the description box below this video or you can get it in print form by your teacher so my dear students write down your name and the roll number write physical or chemical change so melting of butter is it physical or chemical it is a physical change now <clears throat> roll plasticine when you are rolling or playing with play doh is it a physical or chemical change you are only changing the shape so it is physical next is make a yogurt so here you will change you a new product will be formed from the milk so it is a chemical change and leave an iron nail in wall in water rusting will happen a new product will be formed this is a chemical change so burn a paper this is chemical melting of water or freezing of water is physical so you this is how you will complete the worksheet next is write two differences between physical and chemical changes for this you can also take help from the book and i hope you all memorize now the differences between physical and chemical changes so complete the worksheet and then we will move forward towards the homework for homework today you will do question number 1 from section b given on page number 74 and you will also do question number 1 from section c given on page number 75 so here is from section b differentiate between physical and chemical changes give example differentiate between physical and chemical changes what happens with the original product during these changes also to give examples in the in each case so my dear students aapne dono jo hai questions apni notebook mein karne hai as your homework and the wrap up today we have learned that in physical change size and shape of the matter changes and no new product forms while in chemical change chemical composition changes and new product is formed physical changes are reversible whereas chemical changes are irreversible so my dear students i hope now you completely understand the difference between chemical and physical changes keep everybody around you safe have a good day thank you so much and allah hafiz